These power strips are easily repairable as I've picked up these from outside that has endured bad weather conditions and this will cost less than one dollar US to repair otherwise I've paid 180 Jamaican dollars and this one has been badly burnt but nevertheless it works and by pressing this switch you can tell that it's, it will not work and otherwise there are screws that you might need to change because it won't give you that tightening privilege when replacing them And now I'll be removing all six screws. And these power strips are rated 120 volts, 15 amp. Please check the package while you're buying because I bought this one and didn't check the voltage. And if I place inside, it will automatically blow the light. Otherwise, I will do a next video on how to use this type of switch to endure all this 120 volts. At this point now, I'm using the screwdriver to press on the clips to remove the, the switch. And I have in my hand right now 15 and 125 volt AC and on the other side are two holes if you're not sure about which two terminals the switching takes place between you can look through the hole and you see where the actuator made that switch transformation otherwise the terminals there are two terminals that have the same color that's where the switching takes place and the next one will be neutral So place the switch into its slot based on the pinout and I'll be removing the, a bit more of the secondary insulation to accommodate for that um, insulator that had burnt while desoldering. I had used too much heat. And point to note these terminals on the switch are fragile, you don't want to give them too much heat because it will melt the plastic. And color code, the black is live, the white is neutral and the green is ground. And the white is terminated to the switch because there is a red light that need neutral to be powered also so the switching takes place between the two on the left and the neutral is on the right so the light in this switch would actually be connected between the terminal in the middle and the terminal on the right so as it flip up switch, the light will come on. So currently soldering terminal and I bought a roll of solder wire and it's actually no good. After solder it doesn't give that bright shiny look. And key steps in soldering, heat the joint and allow, heat the conductor and allow the solder to flow freely through its strands. And then I'll be connecting to that terminal, designated live terminal. And this other end is an old, is an old weller. Still works fine. And now, just to place um, the wires in properly, ensure that all strips, metal strips, are seated properly. 
and in getting the torque properly done you have to place the wires good enough so the shell itself can actually grip onto that wire because as I note in these three points on the secondary insulation that's uh, from the casing and I have some new screws actually used screws to replace those so secure properly and the flip side will be testing this extension or what we call power strip but this is just a basic power strip and I will plug, plug in this to be tested and the light shows that it's, it's, it's flashing but with the naked eyes it doesn't flash so the camera picked up all those pixels for you and I'll be using my banger phone in this testing process and this USB as I look in here seeing something looking brownish at the end I've reinforced the USB because they always break at those points while I'm using them in some rugged ways and, it, and it's reinforced with paper clip so while you're looking at the phone screen you'll see that charging indicator pops up So now you've seen the full process of how to repair a power strip. So take care and see you in my next video. Remember to, remember to like, subscribe and share. Bye bye.